Hello. Let me see if Almeida Vemos is here. Hi, Anthea. Anthea, I'm not sure if you know you're muted. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I just can't tell if Davis King is Almeida Vamos or not. I think so, yes. Should we let her in for a second? And I'm gonna put... Emma back in the waiting room. Let's see. Hi, I'm coming. Hello. Hello. It's so exciting. You sound like Amy. Are you related? Oh my gosh, Mrs. Vemos. Am I, am I muted or am I okay? No, you're perfect. And we are live on Facebook right now, but I think it's good for us to just, um, just say hello for a minute. And how are you doing? You have grown up. You're actually a young woman now. I, well, not so young. I'm going to rename you. Okay, you already renamed. Okay, good. And so, um, Mrs. Vamos, it's so exciting. I wonder if my kids will come in and say hello. Let's see. I've got a cellist and a violinist. Hey, Zippy, and you're by? Oh, that's your children. And so, uh, uh, well, I think they went outside now, but maybe they'll come back later. But we have an eight year old violinist and then 10 year old cellist. But oh, that's your own children. They're not playing for me, though. No, they? but I thought maybe you could come. Uh, they could come. I, I would love to. I'd love to FaceTime with them or a video with them. Have yeah. fun, and because I've never seen them. I and know they're very. How are you? I'm good. I'm. I'm not really, but you don't want to go into that. We'll tell you about it another time. Okay. Okay. Now I'm fine. That is good. We, I'm Everything so is excited. Everything's wonderful. Good. <laughs> Are you in Are you in Chicago now? I'm in Evanston. Evanston, great. So, what or house? Where you've seen my house, haven't you? I don't think I've ever seen your Evanston house. I haven't I seen, seen you. you for twenty over twenty years. Then exactly. What? Why does that happen? I don't you know. Admit? You know, I think it's just because you're um, close with Amy, and so I I just didn't want to like butt in. But it's well, we don't we're not talking anymore. <laughs> okay, well then I will talk to you. 
Okay. You know, there's not lunch with your mother. I've seen okay. your mom and dad since then. Okay. Oh, good. And Amy and I, but I can have more than one friend. Okay. That's good to know. You know, Mrs. Vemos, there's probably not a half an hour that goes by in my life that I don't think about you. Who are you? No, it's it's such um, you're you're a fountain of inspiration and for myself and for my teaching and for my way of life and so it's so exciting to have you here. I'm very glad that you're not in Germany anymore. I know I'm happy to be Although back. Although I think personally, I think maybe it's better to be there, but it's so far. I it's know. So far. It was a great four years. It was a great challenge, and the girl and the girls are speaking German now. They're still in um, German intensive it's only school. Four years. You four were years. So they hadn't ever been to American school. You know, they basically grew up there. Do they speak English? They're yeah. They're perfect. They have perfect English and pretty bad German. But um, okay. But we'll see. So I think actually we could. We still have another minute. But what we'll do is, uh, Mrs. Vamos, I will be here. And Madeline, who's my assistant, will be here, but we'll hide our camera and our voice, but we will be here on the screen with you um, and um, help um, get, have the kids. Oh, wait, here's a child. Look, this is a 10-year-old child. This is Mrs. Vamos, my, my childhood teacher. Hi. This is, um, this is Hi. Zippora, Zippy Zippora, and she is 10. Zippy is her first name, or her yeah. first name is Zippora? Zippora. We call her Zippy. Yeah. I, and you're 10 years old? She's 10. And what, what grade do you go to school? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm about to be in fifth grade. Really? Fifth grade already? Oh, my gosh. So, and you play the violin or the cello? I play the cello. Oh, darn. So she won't be able to study with me. But we have an eight-year-old. Plays the violin. The violinist. And, of course, Zippy and Mirabai both play banjo. So they're taking banjo lessons. Wow. Banjo is easier than the violin. It certainly is. We'll see if another one comes in. But anyway, we should. We, you know what we can do? I'm gonna do my official, um, like welcome letter. Where are you? What's uh, what city? I'm in Corvallis, Oregon. It's in the middle of the Willamette Valley, south of Portland. Port, it's burdened. What is the name? Fort what? Corvallis. It's very small. It's like an hour to the coast, an hour and a half to the mountains, and we have a vacation home on the ocean, and it's just glorious. Great. How did you end up there? Um, Jason went to high school here. and oh, He was brought up there? He was brought up in Vancouver, Canada, and then he came down here for high school, so I just fell in love with this town. We moved here to have kids, basically. Nice, and, nice place to bring up children. It's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm yep. gonna read my official um, introduction and then we'll let in the first of the three students. Welcome to Inside Music Academy's Masterclass Series. We are all so fortunate to have renowned violinist and pedagogue Almeida Vemos with us here today. I am Anthea Creston, director of Inside Music Academy. Almeida's passion and vision have guided classical musicians for decades, both as a professor from Oberlin to Northwestern University and through numerous summer training programs and master classes throughout the world. Today, Professor Vamos will be teaching three of the young students at Inside Music Academy, an innovative virtual music academy which opened its doors to students from around the world eight short weeks ago, fostering the love of music through lessons, ensembles, electives from composition to podcasting, and continuing this fall with six-week sessions for ages eight through college. Welcome and thank you, Almeida Vemos, for being with us today and inspiring all of us. Thank you, Anthea. It's great to be here. I'm it's looking so forward to hearing the students. This is That's so great. great. All way, week. This is so great. So we're going to let in Isabel first. And she will let you know what she's playing. And um, we will rename her. And then Madeline and I will be here, but hidden on the screen for you. And you will tell me when I have to stop. We will. We will help you with all of that. Here she goes. And we will rename her. There we go. OK.
here. Isabel, can you introduce yourself? Tell us what you're playing and what your name is. Um, my name is Isabel Metz, and I'm going to be playing the Preludio from Partita Number no. Three in E Major by Bach. Great. start now. She's so far. Can she be made on the screen? She's so tiny there. Oh, good. Thank you. I need the system for this. Again, is was it, it it what was your name again? Isabel Max. Isabel? Isabel. I thought that's what it was. I have two Isabels that study with me. You're a very fine violinist. And how old are you? 
Um, 11 years old. Yeah, well, you sound like you, your playing sounds like you could be 15 or 16 years old even. You play very, very well. You have very good command of the uh, of this piece. You're interesting. You're not boring at all, and you have a nice sound. You have very good intonation. Your bow arm is good. So what am I doing here? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You know what? Instead of going to the beginning, could we just fool around with the end a little bit? Um, I'd like to hear you. Um, you know what? Start. I'll show you where to. I'll tell you where to start from. Um. I I liked what you did. I thought sometimes you took a little more time than you really needed to take. I just uh, this is the part where you have a lot of different things you could do musically. Are you able to start in that section? Do you know where it is? Or you can start before, wherever it feels comfortable, about four or five lines before the end. Yeah. I think before you have a little glitch there. Can you just do this? Sometimes it's good to practice going from one measure to the next when it changes patterns. Um. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's let's try this again. I would I like to say a few. I would like you to start from. So instead of suddenly taking time, if you could just broaden out a little bit. And so you're not really coming to a dead end. You're not stopping. It's a little bit more um, subtle. So let's start from here. And you can come down. And then keep building. Yeah. So yeah. So instead of going, uh, stopping this. Why don't you try going up to the higher E instead of holding the lower, the G sharp? So ma da da di da di da 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 di da 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 di da di da yum. Actually, actually, I would da 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 take a little time here. Yeah. Now, and then play with a very flat bow. Yeah, try to use all the hair. And yeah, you know, it's not that you don't use enough hair, but I like to have the stick on top of the hair so that you can get all of that weight. And especially when you're making a crescendo. Yeah, let's maybe do. And work your way to the frog. Exactly. Do it again. A little slower. Let's try it. Slow motion. Now go on. That's good. Go on. Let's see what's next. Tempo. Yeah. Because I want to see what we're going to do next. I go back to tempo. Yeah, that's great. That's fine. And then take a little time there. Yeah, don't slow up so soon. Slow up a little bit as you're going up to the up to the chord, okay? Don't slow up so early. That's the the moment. If you slow up too early, you know, where it, it, it drags, you can just take four notes, slow up. Yes, very good, go on. Okay, and that's not a long 
chords. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Yeah, continue. One. Yeah, and you can retake it. One, three, one. Da -di -da -da -di -da 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 very good honey do it again i just uh, i'm just singing along don't worry about me you can play one two three one two three four don't rush here play that play because that's more it's not steady rhythm there is a rhythm there that you have to show so don't take time there bumpy da 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 good good now go on yeah i was just listening today to a violinist, a former student of mine, Rachel Barton, and she did something I thought, I never did it that way, but it, I thought it was really nice. Da -da 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 and she ended quietly. See, music can be done so many ways. You can make a crescendo to the end and it can sound great, or you can just let it just blow away in the wind, right? So that's that's nice. I like that shaping a little bit better than what you did. What you did was good but this sounds more satisfying to me. So maybe your teacher can follow through on that and uh, in case you forget, let's go to the beginning now. You really play well. You don't need my criticism, but it's always fun to find different ways of playing something. It makes it more interesting after a while. So you wanna begin, begin again. Okay, right. yeah. I'm going to stop you for a second. So I do something, I ask my students to do something to prepare. The opening is kind of hard for intonation. Do you know what I mean? So instead of, start, I, I was impressed that you could start, and the first time you did it very well, but this time wasn't as so in tune. So I usually find myself in fourth position. I might even check and I go da 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 and make sure these fingers, these two fingers very close together. Bum, 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 bum. And you have to stretch a little higher to the third and fourth thing. Can we do it a little slower? And you can't practice this too much. The opening of this is very famous, and everybody has a little bit of a hard time with it. Okay, it's a little on the flat side, a little higher. Da -da -da. A little slower. Yeah. Uh, no, can I see? Can you turn around? I want to see where your thumb is. Let me turn more. Pretty good. So look at. Uh, can you see my thumb? I want to show you where it is. Can you see it now? You see my yes. thumb? It's right up against here. That's fourth position. And if I keep it here. I'm a little flat, but if I put it here, I have a better, then I'm more in tune. So keep your thumb right up. Now, third position, my thumb would be here. Could I ask your assistant to move your camera down a little bit so it frames um, Mrs. Vamos's head and her body? Yes. Every time I give a lesson, they tell me the same thing, and I never learn. So here, sweetheart, do you see the difference? Third position, your thumb is here. Fourth you're, it's like you're cuddling the round part of the instrument here. It's like your whole hand is against here. And then you do silently this, and then you... Good. Now, a little lower in the bow. You, you don't have to play. I noticed that a lot of the times you were playing about here, and I would have liked to just... Pull you down a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, let's prepare. Let's prepare. Let's do it out loud like this. So listen to the first B a little higher. Get your thumb up. Put your thumb. Put your thumb right against the instrument here. Just push it up a little further. You're a little bit. You're a little below fourth position. Right. I think that's better. Let's see. Yeah. A little higher. Okay. Good. Now play. Go on. And then stretch. That has to be my. So, yeah, in first position is where you really have to stretch third and fourth finger. For everybody, it's the same thing. Because if you look at my fingers, you can see my fourth finger is so much smaller than the other fingers. And everything's more apart in first position. So you want to give it all this. Da, da, da. You, you have very good intonation. Generally, your intonation's great. But this is just a nasty opening. And you haven't had a warm up before you start this piece. So you have to practice it really hard. Let's start with the second bar and see if we get that third finger. Give it energy. A little higher on the F sharp. Da, 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 da. Good. A higher. Yeah. Does that sound too high to you? Yeah, the, the last one sounded a little bit too high. It's uh, if it sounds too high, but it's not. It's just that you're used to a little lower. I think you're used. To it's not much of a difference, but leading. Yeah, I see. I will. Um, Isabel, this is way too little time. I really enjoyed working with you, and I wish I had time to have you play the whole piece again for me. I enjoyed it very much. I always like to pick a little bit up even when I'm practicing something I always try to what could be better but you're you're pretty perfect I just have to make a few things better okay thank you for playing for me thank you Isabel sounds fantastic it's a real pleasure and you play very well I'm gonna put you okay. in okay are we ready for number two yeah we are and this must well, be Madeline Madeline is um, just our intern, but she's a fabulous cellist. And here is Emma. She's going to be playing Isai for you. Oh. Hi, Mrs. Ramos. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good, thank you. How are you? You chose a very, very difficult piece. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, the composer of this music mm -hmm. is my musical grandfather. Wow. My teacher studied with Isai. Wow. You know. Have you ever read anything about Isai? Yeah, I've, I did some research recently. That's good. It's very interesting. He was a fabulous yeah. violinist. And of course, for his time, the style of playing might have been very different from it is from the way it is now. But I'm really looking forward. I like this, this sonata a lot. Thank you. So I'll play um, the first two pages of the first movie. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm really sorry. Um, I forgot to turn on an original sound. We're having, We're having a little trouble with, yeah, with the sound. The sound. Yeah, yeah, I have to turn on um, original sound. So. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
well, very, it was uh, interesting. Uh, you have a beautiful sound. You have a beautiful uh, vibrato. And you have a lot of passion in your playing, don't you? You like music. That's not, it's not something that you need to be taught so much. And I can see it. It's quite natural. There's one little thing that you do technically that I notice that I'm always trying to get students not to do it. And that in your moving, if you move like this, it's okay if you move like this, but if you move this way, not so good. Because then the movement is getting in the way of the bow. That's just mm -hmm. one little item. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's definitely, um, you have your own style. And you feel very, uh, it's not like I'm listening to you and thinking that you haven't decided what you want to do. It's very much thought out and you know exactly what you want to do. So you might not even like anything I have to say, and that's fine. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> well, that's fine. It's okay. In the beginning, he says, um, one of the things in the front of the book, he says, follow all my marks exactly, and you'll be closer to what I want. Mm -hmm. So he says, bien with me. Maybe save the rubato for a little later and not right away. Mm -hmm. uh, Da 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 ya ya da 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 instead of uh starting with the holding it and then of course that line means you can that line you can use a little more bow try the get beginning again you are holding the first note. Try to go to the try to go to the downbeat. Ba da 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 di da 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 dum. Ba da 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 di da 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 dum. And then, I like the way you did. I thought when you did it, you were trying to build each one more and more. I really like it that way. So that I don't want to change anything there. <laughs> I got your idea very well. I'd like you to try something else. By the way, because I tell you something, I'm not God. I know I'm not God. I, or, or am I? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm God. <laughs> so I just think it's fun to explore. Yeah, yeah. Because then you do what's better. I'd like you to try once. Keep the line going. You make a huge stop each time. Uh, now, you're not doing it for technical reasons because you obviously, I can see you have a great technique. So try it that way without making, just playing it rhythmically the way he wants it. And the other, the other point I'd like to make to all the students who come in is that, especially since he saw he was very old composers, they really like you to do what they write. They're very fussy about it. And since he doesn't give you that much time, maybe he doesn't want it because he's very clear what he says. So let's give him a chance. If we don't like it, you can go back to your other way. <laughs> One, two, three. That's the place I meant not to take too much time. Is that right? Yes, good. Yeah, just to stop the bow a little bit. And then get over. You know, um, you have an artist's sound. It's Emma, right? You have the sound uh -huh. of a great artist. You're, it's, that's, to me, that's the most important thing. Sound is the most important thing. If the sound is beautiful, then anything else can be fixed along the way. So uh, you have a great future. That's a great sound. So you understood what I meant about that. You want to yeah, go on? Yeah. yeah. 
Sorry. Terrible place to start. Yeah. Hmm? Terrible place to start. <laughs> I think your style is great. Play it once for me, a little slower and very steady. Da da dee da da dee da dee da 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 just to get the feeling of the string crossings and get it really uh, comfortable. And then, of course, there's no reason why you can't take a little rubato here. I don't mind that at all. But let's do it one time straight. notes. I, I recommended that because I really wanted you to listen very clear, carefully to your intonation. Mm -hmm. It's it's 90% there, a little bit off, but not it's not 100% perfect. And then you know the lines, you know what those mean, right? Yep, to use the whole, the whole use thing. Use a lot of both for those notes. And so that would in indicate that you would hold those notes a little bit. Now, mm -hmm. let's do it not too freely, but in tempo. Okay, go on. You have dum, da dum. Those are sixty fourth. Those they they should be faster. Dum. It sounded like da ya da 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 dum, ba da dum, da da ya da dum. play a trill there right I, sorry accidentally I only sort of realized I was doing it incorrectly about a week ago so it's sort of not a hundred percent fixed yet you know um, do you know the ballad uh, yeah. it, 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 have you played it no so there I'll tell you an interesting story because here we're talking about the composer and doing everything the composer wants so I, I got to the end of the first page uh, and Persinger said that when he studied it with Isai, Isai said, hey, why don't you do a full trill there to the end? And so since it, he said Isai told him to do it, I thought, well, sometimes I did the turn, sometimes I did the trill. So I told my student, you can do a whole trill. And she was going to do a... Uh, a um, class for Gingold, mm -hmm. and he studied with Isai also, and she played the full trill there, and he got so angry at her, and he started yelling, this is not what he wrote, and, and it was kind of embarrassing because she was playing in front of a lot of people, mm -hmm. but, and I didn't get a chance to talk to him and tell him, you know, Mr. Persinger said that that was Isai, so even the composer sometimes doesn't, he's like you, you're practicing, you do it one way, and the next day you try something else. So I didn't really think it was the most terrible thing in the world that you played the trill instead of the, but you're liable to play for somebody who's got the score and they're gonna say, yeah. how stupid she played the trill. <laughs> so I don't take any chances anymore. Yeah. If it's yeah. on the page, we do what's on the page. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so especially for a contest. Okay, so you're going to do turns. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I noticed before when you played it, you did a few with trills and a few without trills. And probably if you had done it for Isai, he might have said to you, that's nice. 
<laughs> okay, you want to continue from there? so much on the second beat save it for the end of the bar da 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 chop ba ba be da 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 something to say it's very lovely what you're doing uh tranquilo what does it mean uh tra like tranquil calm huh. yeah yeah it doesn't necessarily mean slower mm. but calm usually indicates that you might you might be a little slower because you're calm so if you're playing something very fast then you might don't take quite so much time yeah. try to kind of keep calm very calm but it sounded a little exaggerated Yeah, no, no, I think that's beautiful. Yeah, I, I liked it because I felt the calmness. I felt you could do beautiful things, but it wasn't too draggy. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? I liked it. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll work on that. Yeah. You could do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I didn't want to stop you for it. Um, line the fourth line. There's a little bit of intonation. It's yeah, I, I felt it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 16. Wow. Beautiful player. You really are a beautiful player. I love your sound. What is your violin? Um, it's a Thomas Kennedy. I just Thomas got it Kennedy. a few Kennedy. months ago. It's a, it's a British violin. It sounds like it has a pretty big sound, does it? Yeah, it's it's very um like flexible. I, I feel very comfortable with it. So. Yeah. Well, hey, Anthea, are these all your students? You must be a very good teacher. You must. I have wish they were all my students. They all came to my my camp for the summer. So I worked with all of them, but they come from all over the United States and we had a bunch from Europe as well. So Emma came to our camp and we loved having her. Where are you from? I'm from New Hampshire. New Hampshire. And who do you study with there? Um, I study with Peter Jarvis at NEC Prep. And then I also take lessons. I mean, he didn't see this piece yet, but um, I take lessons with Shmuel Ashkenazi also. But I, I don't work with him super often now because of um, the coronavirus. So he hasn't worked on me with this piece. He doesn't, he doesn't do uh, virtual teaching? He, he does do virtual teaching, but it, it's just, it just starts to happen less frequently. And um, we were 
working a lot on the Sibelius violin concerto before, so this piece is a little bit more new. So it just Too bad you didn't the lesson hasn't that come for us yet. because this young lady next to us is going to be doing. She's going to do a master class. This is Katja, and she's going to do Sibelius, and Tim Ying is going to be the uh, master teacher. Do you remember him? Yeah, great. Okay, well. Uh, I think this is very nice. I think to, the main thing I had to say was you can do all that you wanted to do without too exaggerating the tempi, yeah. you know. But in the beginning, I felt that it was uh, much slower than what he indicated. He even gives you a tempo marking, so you can check me out and see. But I had never heard it quite that slow. But it was very interesting. And just remember the da get it on that those, those yeah. notes are a little faster. Okay. Thank you, Emma. And we're going to let Leon in now. Very beautiful. I'm going to put you in the waiting room. And let's see here. Is Leon Kobayashi? Yes, here he comes. And he's going to be playing. He'll say hello to you. Hi, Leon. And I will um, disappear again. Okay, have fun. I would love to get, how do I do this? I want to, can I do this? Can I turn this off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to do get my projects. I want to. Hi, hello, and Peter. You're going to be playing the Vietum. Yes. And I want to. What I want to do is I'm trying to get it up the music up on my projects because in case I stop you, mm -hmm. it's so much easier if I. Uh, let me see. Let's see if this works out. Vietum, Vietum. Where is Vietum? Oh, Poplar. Right. Did you see it? Okay, Vietum. It's take me just a second, Fi. Ah, it's so interesting how things can pop up nowadays. I used to have to go to the store. <laughs> how old are you, Peter? I'm 18. Oh, young man. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, let me get this music up. And I'm now ready for you. All righty. So I'll be playing first, around the first movement. I mean, before the cadenza. Oh, um, okay. And yeah.
Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, uh, I love teaching this concerto because there's so much teaching in there, so many tools, and it's very awkward. One of the most awkward parts is the part you just played. I don't even know if I can play it offhand, but I think you get too loud too soon. You have to... I'm sorry, I'm hitting the desk. No, 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 no. Can you try starting a little bit softer? Because it's a long, kind of annoying page. That's all I can say about it. I don't think it has that much value. And of course, <laughs> The one who plays it the best, I think, is Heifetz because he can play it so fast, but we don't have to play it that fast. Let's let's try at the tip, at the point, like he said. At the th 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 Very short. Now, what bowing are you using? Use the bowing he suggests. <laughs> Uh, do you have the score? What he suggests in my part, he suggests up, 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 down. Might be easier. You'll you'll fool around with it. If you don't like it, don't use it. But try it once and say it. Then as it comes. Yeah. No, all you have to do is do the first two and then as it comes. Up, down, down, up, 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 up. And you don't have to do it quite so fast oh. yet. <laughs> yeah, and I think he's fingering of this. It's easier if you do the open string. I don't know if you have the Galamian edition, but stay in first and harmonic. So much easier. I think if you play it short bows at the tip, don't try to go quite so fast yet. You might be able to get a little more luck with it because it's kind of a scratchy. It's not my most ha happy moment mm -hmm. with music. You know, I want to tell you something else. You did something that everybody does wrong, and all the teachers wait to see if they can catch you. Where was that rhythm thing? More up? And that other page. Uh, let me look. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, can you go back to um, uh, 135 where it says a tempo? Sorry, I don't have a. Oh, you don't have that. So uh, let me tell you another way to, to find it. So it's the second page about, and it's down in the middle, and I'll, I'll play it for you, and you'll figure it out. Uh, you know where it is? Yeah. 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 Is it the rhythm? <laughs> yeah, start from here. One, two. Yeah. So it's like it's one, one, two, three, four, one. Ba -da -ba. This second gets two beats. This gets two beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Mark that in and practice that a lot because, you know, when everybody makes the same mistake, then everybody, then the teachers, the judges are waiting for you to make it. And when you make the mistake, they're so happy. Um, made it. Oh. Um, anyhow, the opening, I'm going to make a, a musical suggestion that I like. I think I, I got this idea from Mr. Persinger, who was my teacher. <laughs> then slur this one. And then this one. Save the separate bow for the third one. Okay. It makes more sense because the second one is still piano. It's still sneaking in. And then another thing my teacher used to say, of course, some teachers want you to use fourth finger no matter what it sounds like. It can sound terrible, but you have to practice your fourth finger. And of course, I can tell you there are a lot of exercises for fourth finger, 
My teacher used to say, use your Sunday best. And I noticed that Heifetz uses his Sunday best. <laughs> this is a longer fit. You're killing yourself. With the three of the four there, mm -hmm. right? Is yeah. that what you use? Mm -hmm. So I will recommend that you could write a three, one, two, three, three, da, 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 da. and that's so much easier. And you can vibrate it, and you can sound terrific. Got it. You want to try it? Yeah, uh, from the beginning. Oh. Uh, so you're uh, up bow. Da, 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 da. Now vibrate three, three, and then you're back where you were before. Three, three, four, one, da, 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 da. And, and that's your regular fingering because you were doing four, three, and now you're back. Doesn't that sound? Isn't that easier? Yeah, I mean it's easier to vibrate. That's your Sunday best. Okay. I love when he used to say that. Okay. Um, actually, why don't you start again? We don't have much time, but. I'd like to hear you do the beginning. Beginnings are so important. Okay, so here's another thing that judges talk about and they look for it. Vibrate every note. I was so happy you vibrated the first note and you vibrated that. Make sure you vibrate every single note. Because that'll be a point off for you in a competition. Now slur. Now big. Yeah. And then when you have to go so high, don't press, but turn your bow so the stick is actually looking at you. That way you can't slide over, you know, and this, anything can happen that way. But I don't press, I just vibrate. I'm playing with my bow pianissimo, with my head forte, and my left hand forte. Okay. But turn your bow towards you so that I call it an invisible fence that keeps you from sliding to the bridge and lots of vibrato and you won't fall over the bridge. Yeah. And then when you go up on the, you can do a little Vengarov thing. Bring the E string up with you. Now, I don't feel, I don't get the crunch. I'm coming from above, but I don't press. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Do it again. Continue. Go for it. Da ya da da. Yeah. One more thing. One more thing. Don't do this. Watch me. Don't move your head. Look how easy, Mom. I can do it without any head. Okay. Is it time? Or? You can play it once without moving your <laughs> Yeah, you're a very good violinist. You have a lot of facility and you have to clean up some of the stuff because it's a very hard piece. I mean, I remember the first time I played this piece, it wasn't too good. It was very hard. I, I you know, it's a lot of stuff, but you have to look for ways that you can make it easier. For yourself. 
are we supposed to be finished or can I go on? It's up to you guys. I think we're, we're officially done, but. Um... Well, let me spend a little more time with him because it's a long piece, okay? All right, so let's play this without the head. The reason I said not to do this is because that gets boring. Da, 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 da. You didn't do it that much, of course. And vibrate it and make it sound easy. Just, we don't have to know it's difficult. Got it. Be careful, Peter, with your rhythm. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and Da 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 ya da 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 da. So start from here. Right there. Now try this. Get your head, your violin up. You're going to kind of sound like this. Da 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 da. Open up a little bit. He says sustenuto. I'm not such a sustenuto person sometimes. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two. Oh, one, two. You know, I think sustained doesn't always mean slower, and it gets a little boring. One, that's not the rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I am so I am slower. Not as slow as you though. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, then it all it Yeah, and then there's a little bit of it's a little more passion. So as you go, don't keep it draggy. Okay. Right there. Yeah, sing. Keep the vibrato open. Your vibrato is a little narrow. Open it up. thing to do I want to teach you an old-fashioned trick and that we don't do it very much but it's like when you're playing if you want to go <gasps> we take the bow and we want to very quickly try not to hear it but if you do hear it it's like you were <gasps> you were like taking an extra uh, excited breath and don't lift the bow. Yeah, so it's down bow again. Uh, see what I'm doing? Yeah, and you don't have to lift the bow. It's like hydroplaning in the car. Like you were. Yeah, you know what? You, you can practice this later. I don't want to take the time. But you know, I was teaching that same bowing this morning to a boy who was doing the Brahms concerto. <laughs> Some people do that. They retake the bow quickly like that. It gives, gives you a little more power. Here I do it because I want it to sound like da 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 You hear my breath? I'm like a pa a pa a da 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 you know, it's all full of technique, but actually there's quite a bit of music in it too. You can, and you want to take everybody's mind off the technique. Uh, I want to skip ahead and just tell you, you have a marvelous beginning to an up bow staccato. It's a special up bow staccato. It's the kind that you can make money off of it. 
but you have to practice it slowly and control it a little bit. Okay. But the sound is great, but you probably know that. It's it's almost there. Yeah. And it's almost great, but it needs a little bit of practice. Is there any spot, any other spot where you would like some advice? Um, I guess the the hard technique page yeah. starting with the sixteenth notes. If there's any way to make it if you, if you have any tricks to make it a little easier, that'll be great. Are you talking about this? <laughs> yeah, I have a wonderful trick. It's amazing. 10 hours every day. Oh. <laughs> 11. 11 hours, 11 hours. You know, what about... And feel each note. And turn your bow towards you. Da, da. Turn the bow in, in because when you go from here to here, it's a lot of uh, motion. But when you go on this side, so uh, try that just by turning your bow in and and drawing. No, turn the bow stick towards you, and play on with five hairs or 20 hairs, as much as you want, but that how much turn. And now let's just see if my, let's see if it works for you. Yeah, keep it turned towards you and you can go a little faster. And use less bow for the first group and more bow, okay? And keep the bow turned by pushing your thumb, push the stick away from you. Okay. Yeah, was that better? Yeah, it sounds, it sounds better. And it, did it help you a little bit? And mm -hmm. then you go faster. Okay, that's $10. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> it's $15 million. Oh. Um, <laughs> The next part, don't ask me. It's just a lot of hard work. Okay. This is really hard. I haven't gotten it faster yet. That's about my tempo. Okay. Practice it slowly. <laughs> Keep your fingers down. Don't lift them. Uh, only the fingers that you must lift. Now I just shift the da, 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 da. and look where my bow is. I'm playing on the inside of the stick. Try it. I think you'll like it. Yeah. First, you might no throw, push your push the hair away from you. Push your hair away from you by bending, straightening your thumb. Okay. Thank you. And then, do it at the front. Do it in the middle. And get the bow deep into the string. No, 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 you're turning the bow, you're turning the stick away. Look at the stick. Like it's touching your nose. It's towards you, yeah. You know what? You're not used to playing that way. We don't usually play that way. But whenever I have string crossings like like this, mm -hmm. I turn the stick towards me. Much easier. Much easier. Because there's this further to go. You see how I'm looking? Something like that. And less bow. So if you're terrible, at least it's less bow and it doesn't sound so terrible. I think that's enough for today, but uh, you know, you have a lot of potential and uh, we all have potential. Now those passages just, you know, they, it, but it's nice to know what can I do to make it easier? And I think turning the stick towards you when you're playing string crossings like that, everything's closer, it helps. And I just do it by straightening my thumb then the, the bow stick, then the hair goes away, and I then I can be just as relaxed with my hands, fingers. I'm not locked. I don't do it with my wrist. I do it with my thumb. Okay. I turn the bow with my thumb. I don't go like this. I don't right. do that. I just do this. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Bravo. Yeah. Great. And where do you live? I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. 
Oh, great. You know what? I keep, I kept forgetting. I kept thinking everybody's in your town. I know they're from everywhere. They're, and not only that, but they're in their own homes. I yeah. see all the decorations and everything. Oh. It's great. Well, okay. Take care. Are they, are people being good in Arizona? I heard they weren't being so good there. No, they're not really good. At least I'm staying home. So. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Yeah, don't, don't, yeah. We're better, I'm, well, she's wearing a mask, I'm not, because I can't talk with the mask on. But I have one. <laughs> I just don't like it that much, but I wear it. And I, and I, I only let people in that I know are isolating. So Katja's my student, but she comes from I Iowa, I let her come. Because her mother plays the piano and we're playing, and we're doing Strauss Sonata together, so. Ooh. Very nice. Leon, thank you so much. It's been great um, having you at INA this summer and keep in touch. And Mrs. Vamos, it's a minute of Mrs. Vamos is enough inspiration for a year. So we just got 20 years, 20. You got extra years of inspiration. You just got 40 years of inspiration from Mrs. Vamos. She's too kind. But anyhow, it's nice to meet you. and. And here you play. It was a pleasure for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so Anthea is there.